Tonight, we'd like you to meet Jessica Malore, a 17-year-old New Jersey girl who's known in her town as a hero. Jessica's inspirational tale of survival is one that gives us all hope. Les Trent has her story. It is the sound Jessica Malore has now grown used to. The sound of a lifeline, an implanted heart device that keeps her alive. Well, this machine is actually pumping, doing the work for the left side of my heart. It wasn't supposed to be this way for 17-year-old Jessica. Only eight months ago, she was a typical energetic teenager, co-captain of the Somerville High School tennis team in New Jersey and member of the school choir. Jessica had grown up healthy and happy and was looking forward to her senior year. Then, one night last September, everything changed. I was out celebrating my aunt's birthday, and I went to the bathroom, and then suddenly I felt dizzy and lightheaded, and I felt pressure pains going from my chest up to my neck and a heaviness in my arms. Without any prior warning signs, Jessica was suffering a major heart attack. Rushed to a New Jersey area hospital, it was the beginning of a horrifying ordeal. I wasn't too nervous until the cardiologist took the ectocardiogram and I asked him whether I would die and he just stared at me and didn't say anything and that's when I realized that something was very wrong. What doctors were seeing was a large immovable clot in the left side of Jessica's heart. After frantic life-saving attempts at angioplasty and double bypass surgery, the only hope for Jessica's survival would be a heart transplant. We just couldn't believe that they were telling us this, that our healthy, suntanned tennis player sitting there laughing with us at dinner is now having her only chance at saving her heart would be a small one. Jessica was rushed to a Philadelphia hospital where she was evaluated for heart transplantation, but there were no donor matches at the time. Luckily, there was this miraculous device, the newly FDA-approved HeartMate which Jessica's doctor, Satoshi Furukawa, says was her only hope. It doesn't replace it. We don't take the heart out. We just attach this device, and it basically becomes a device that assists the heart. But while the heart mate was effectively pumping Jessica's blood to her body, still more trauma was about to unfold. During early attempts to save her life, Jessica suffered circulatory complications. Doctors removed her left leg. She now wears a prosthesis. I cried and cried, and I, I didn't think a person could cry as much as I cried in those first couple of months. But much to Jessica's credit, tears were not her answer. There were times that I was depressed and said, why did this happen to me? But I also think that if this had to happen to someone, maybe it had to happen to someone that would be able to cope with it. and just accept it and move on with life and to give other people, to be inspirational to other people. When you go to the top, I want you to squeeze real tight. And, and that's exactly what she's doing. All the way down. After months of physical therapy, the 17-year-old is determined to live her life just the way she always did. One of her goals is to play tennis again. Amazingly, last November, after just two months of recovery, she returned to school, singing in the choir and the school play. I go to sleepovers, to dances, to the movies. I went on a day trip to Baltimore, and at the end of March, I went with um, my class to uh, Disney World to sing. Jessica just finished her senior year, and she even attended the high school prom, winning the honor of prom queen. Smile. It seems nothing will bring Jessica Malore down. I recognize how fragile life can be, but I, I try to live each day to the fullest and appreciate life a lot more. She is wise beyond her years. Jessica has been accepted to Princeton University on a partial scholarship, but she still needs a heart transplant, which she hopes will happen in the next few months. If you'd like more information about Jessica, go to Extra Online. We're at www.extratv.com.